Beetje krap geparkeerd. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Roy and this is Motorvlog NL. In the last video we took the Kawasaki Z900 out for test drive during the Kawasaki Promo Tour. If you don't know what the Kawasaki Promo Tour is, let me tell you. Kawasaki Netherlands is setting up shop every week during a limited time period at several dealerships in the country. You as a potential customer can then basically speed date with the bike of your preference. Like the Z900, the Versus or the Supercharged H2. Just register and show up with your driver's license at the right time and take the bike out. There are still some promo days ahead, so check out my website or the Kawasaki website to find out your date and dealer. I will put links to the websites in the description below. In this video we are still at Motorport in Rocanje and we have a date with the 2023 Kawasaki Versus 1000. Kawasaki Versus is available with two engine sizes. You can choose between the 650 and the 1000cc engine. And today we're out on the big bike. is advertised as an adventure tourer and is mainly focused towards riding on the roads. You can go light off-roading with it on gravel paths, but you have to take into account the limitations of the bike, such as the wheels and the ground clearance of 140 mm or 5.9 inches. But on the blacktop this is a bike that, in my opinion, will stand its ground gracefully. During my ride on the Versus, the battery of my camera went dead. I simply forgot to replace it before we went out. Fortunately, a day later, a buddy of mine, Kevin, had the opportunity to ride the same bike, so I put my camera on his helmet to capture the footage of his test ride. So the footage you will see from here on out was recorded a day after I rode the bike. 
Recently Kevin's driver's license went from A2 to A, so he is looking for a full power bike at the moment. And the Versus is one of the contestants to be his next motorcycle. Ok, let me get into the specs of this Versus 1000 SE. The bike has a 1043cc 4 cylinder engine that will put out 120 horsepower or 88.2 kilowatts at 9000 rpm. The fuel capacity of this Adventure Tourer is 21 liters and with a fuel economy of roughly 1 liter per 18 kilometers you can get as far as 380 kilometers on the tank of fuel. The bike weighs 257 kilograms and has a seat height of 84 centimeters. But with the option to mount a lowered seat, you are able to get it down to 82 centimeters. The Versus 1000 is equipped with the newest technologies like the brand's own cornering management system that will modulate engine power and brake force in corners to facilitate smooth transitions from braking to acceleration or the other way around, so you will always stay on your ideal line. The bike is also equipped with traction control, ABS, a quick shifter, it has two power modes high and low and many more features to keep you safe as a rider. During my test ride I quickly felt familiar and confident on the bike. In a matter of minutes the bike and myself were one on the road. This is such a pleasant bike to ride, even in this kind of weather. 
It was raining all day long and the roads were wet and slippery sometimes. The bike never gave me the feeling that it would go belly up. Mounted with Bridgestone tires, this bike is an absolute joy to ride. The seating position is comfortable and is, so is the wide seat which was not too hard but also not too soft. The handlebars are wide and gives you more than enough control over the bike's handling. That being said, the bike handles so smooth that it took no effort whatsoever to go through corners and tilting the bike to get tight turns. This Kawasaki Adventure Tourer is a big bike, but it handles everything you throw at it. Even in small towns with tight corners and narrow streets, the bike is easy to maneuver. My buddy told me, after he got back from his ride, that he felt totally confident on the bike and he actually was a bit upset with me because I told him to try this bike, because I thought he would like it. Guess what? He did.
personally I would love to daily drive this bike, but in the category of adventure bikes there is so much to choose from. There are adventure bikes that are focused towards road use and there are the ones more focused towards off-road use. The Kawasaki Versus is definitely more focused towards the road, but I have to say it does it very well. If you like this video please hit the like button and if you want to leave a comment please do so in the comment section below. Also I would love it when you subscribe to my channel. I'm just starting out here on YouTube and my next goal is to get to a thousand subscribers so I can get to do better and bigger things. In a few weeks I'm off to an adventure and I would love it if you would care to join me here on this channel on that endeavor. So if you hit the bell icon below you will get a notification every time I upload a video. We're almost back at Motorport in Rocagne. To summarize my experience on the Versus 1000, I can and will be brief. Kawasaki created an awesome adventure bike that will catch the interest of a lot of riders that are looking for a bike in this category. Well done Kawasaki! This is the end of this video, but be sure to check back in for the next one, where I will be taking another model from the 2023 Kawasaki lineup out for a ride. See you there! Bye now!